Ladies and gentlemen, how are we all doing? Cameron Stewart calling in here from the uh, mobile office again, heading uh, heading into uh, Auckland City, into South Auckland to go and look at a property actually. So I uh, thought I'd get on here and uh, just share, um, you know, something that I, I believe is, is a real problem uh, especially in the millennial millennial age group, the, the young guys coming out of university is what I'm finding um, sitting down in front of a lot of people um, over the last few months is a lot of people we're getting taught a lot of things in life is how to do this, how to do that you know um, repeating a lot of information out of a textbook and university degrees um, diplomas all this all this um, education and <clears throat> what I'm finding is people are going to university or they're going to polytech or whatever the case may be but they've got no sense of direction or they've got no sense of purpose uh, when they come out of that arena and what I'm finding quite disturbing is a lot of these people have got absolutely no idea, you know, where they want to head in life. Now, the reason why I started the video journey quite a few months back online was um, it helps my personal growth, um, but it also uh, can hopefully can help some people out there that watch my videos uh, in some way or form. I'm a bit of a straight shooter, I say it as it is, but... What I'm finding is with most people is a lot of people today they just they've got no sense of direction they've got no purpose if they don't know what what it is that they want out of life they you know I sat down with a young guy the other day there and he was just about to finish his uni degree and I said okay I said look you know what so what's your plan out of uni you know what where is it that you want to head and he said oh look I don't know I said well okay well Okay, well, outside of that, okay, have you have you ever considered what it would be like if you, you know, you, you had your own business or you could travel the world or you, you had, you know, some level of financial independence or, you know, if you had a buffer of income in your account, what would you do? And he didn't have an answer. So what's happening is even at a very early age in life, people are getting suppressed in their thinking patterns and can't, they can't think think any higher than their current situation and it's a real concern because see the thing is in life as cheesy as it must as it, it might sound is if you don't have a dream or you don't have a purpose in life you know what's the point of it all see the thing is for me I look at all the stuff that I've all the stress and all the things I put myself under to try and move my forward uh, move myself forward financially I don't do that just for a dollar bill. I do that because there's a reason or a purpose behind what I'm trying to do. And what I'm finding is with a lot of people is they've just got absolutely no sense of direction, no sense of purpose. And they've got all this information, all, all this knowledge in the way of education, but they don't know how to go and apply it and use it in life to actually get the success that they need. And that's really, really disturbing as far as, you know, if you look at the amount of university graduates that are coming out of university, they've got degrees, they've got all this, um, this study, they, they, you know, they're continuing their study and going on and doing masters and all the rest of the stuff that happens, but they're coming out of university, some of them are, are finishing a de degree and then thinking, well, I, I need to go and do my masters or whatever the case may be to, to go and get a, be a better paying job, but a lot of them aren't doing work experience a lot of them aren't um, you know growing themselves a lot of them have got no idea of, of, of how to budget money or how to manage money or any of this stuff and they're just in a it's, it's a really a, a major situation that's going on in society right now so the, 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 the whole point of this video today is just to help people understand it doesn't matter what you do, as long as it's moral and ethical, it, what matters in life is where, where are you wanting to go? What is it that you want to do? You know, what would it be like if you could sit on a beach and you could be based anywhere in the world and you could have time and money? 
what would it be like if you could go to the supermarket and you didn't have to check out your account, account to see how much money was left over? What would it be like if you could start a charity and help other people all around the world? What would it be like if you could become a global speaker and go traveling around the world inspiring others? What would it be like if you could own a, a big house and a, a farm or land and toys and materialistic rewards? What would it be like if you, you, you could just be free? Have the freedom of time and money? What would it be like to live in that environment? See, we are so systemized, we are so caught in our ways, we are so caught in a rut mentally that we've forgotten what it's like to actually dream when we're little kids we want to go and paint the town red we want to go and do this we want to go and do that but then as life goes through as we go through life we get that you know we get life knocked out of us we have relationships breakups we have financial struggles we have we lose a job we have sickness problems or health problems and what happens is we suppress all those thoughts in our mind. But what I'm trying to get at here, people, is we need to start teaching people how to think on their own two feet, how to actually use your initiative and actually go out there and pursue what it is that they truly want to pursue in life or what is it they really want to do. See, going out there and doing a degree and becoming an accountant or whatever the case may be, look, I'm not bagging accountants or whatever, but... Going and becoming accountant for, an accountant, for example, and then sitting in an office crunching numbers for the rest of your life, is that truly living? You know, obviously there's people out there that really get a thrill out of developing businesses up to certain levels or building portfolios or whatever the case may be. You know, there is a reward in that and it is, you know, you know when you're helping other people develop their business or the rest of it, that's exciting, that is rewarding. But for the people out there that are in a job situation, that are sitting in a cubicle, looking at a computer screen, crunching numbers, doing emails, going through the grind on a treadmill, back and forth, day to day, week to week, year to year, not actually moving ahead at all financially or personally, is really that how we want to be living in this world? See, the thing is, life is short. And you want to be living your life to your full potential. You want to be chasing your dreams. You want to be chasing your goals. You want to be figuring out what those things are. You want to be hanging around with people or associating with people that can help you get to those goals and aspirations. Finding people that have got the runs on the board that are helping you, that are going where you want to go. You know, associating with people that you see can help benefit you. See, that's, that's the key here. And I think that's what's happening. If I, You know, going back to what I was talking about in the way of the university... Uh, guys and all these young guys and girls coming through that um, that system is they're not getting taught the appropriate skills to actually go out there and actually get true success. They're not taught the people skills. They're not taught how to, you know, if someone calls you up to, to call them back or if someone sends you a message to message them back, you know, common sense or common courtesy is gone in today's society. Everyone's caught up in the social media world, and that's a bit cliche considering I'm doing a video on social media right now, but everyone's caught in this whole system that, and the communication is not there. The, the reason behind what, the, or, or the passion is not there for what people are doing. People think that they're just going to go out there and get a job and she'll be right. That ain't going to work. Inflation keeps going up. House prices keep going up. The cost of living keeps going up. Everything is going up. And wages or income is not um, going at the same rate. Hence, people are on a plateau or on a treadmill in life. So the thing is, it doesn't have to be that way. And the reason why I do these videos, some of these videos may annoy some people. These videos will help some people. I know that for a fact because I've had many, many messages. But the thing is, the reason why I do this is, do we keep going through life just doing what we're doing to get the same result? Or do we change it up? Do we start to think outside the box? Do we start to focus on the things that we really want and then find vehicles or find associations or people that can help us get to where we want to go? Because for me, in life, as far as making money, making money is a byproduct of what true success really is. See, if you become successful in the way you think or you, you can control the way you think, every other area, area of your life will improve. But the problem is most of us, as soon as we come out of that uni, uh, situation or school or whatever the case may be we stop reading we stop learning we get into the process where we just do our mundane job we go week to week year to year and we stay in the same position for the rest of our life 
Now, by the way, I understand that some people are comfortable in that. But for me, I'm not. And for if you're watching this video and you're not comfortable, go out there and make something. Make a change. Do something different. Find someone that can help you. Look for someone that can lead you to the promised land, whatever. But understand this. This is one chance that you have at this life. And if you don't give it your best shot, you don't want to be lying in, a, in an old person's home at, at 70 something years old or whatever the case may be wishing you had. You want to go through life going, yes, I gave life my best shot. I've given it 110% in all areas. And you can be content when you're sitting, in that, sitting at that point in life and know that you've done the right thing for you and your family. So I hope you're all having an absolutely fantastic day. My name is Cameron Stewart. Um, I've always said that I like, you know, it's all about creating change and defining purpose. See, creating change is not easy. Changing habits or things that you've done for a long period of time is not easy. And defining your purpose is what's going to help you get to where you want to go. So go out there, chase your dreams, and we'll see you at the top. Thanks for listening.